In this video, I'm going to cover the direct entry value method for creating walls and locating other objects in Sweet Home 3D. Now, if this is your first time using Sweet Home 3D, I have linked uh, a tutorial video of how to use Sweet Home 3D since this video is intended for people who are a little more familiar with how to already create walls and other objects in Sweet Home 3D. Now, before we get going with the direct entry value method for this software, I just want to note that of all the documentation that I found for Sweet Home 3D, nowhere does it mention the direct entry value method. That is completely something that I made up and I'm just going with it. So just a disclaimer there. Now let's go ahead and let's start creating some walls like we're, no we're used to. Now to do that, what I'm going to do is come on up to my toolbar and go on create walls. And then I'm going to place my cursor in my 2D view and left click once and drag to the right. And we get that little post-it note looking box on the right hand side that tells us our length, angle, and thickness of the wall. Now let's say that I want to make a wall that is 18 feet long. So I'm going to go to about 18 feet, get close and get closer. Let's see, there we go. So it gets to 18 feet and then I'm going to left click and hit escape. And there is my wall that from my start point to my end point is 18 feet long. Now I just made this wall in an arbitrary location on this grid. So let's talk about this grid for a moment. So this grid, it looks just like a, uh, you know, grid paper from math class. And with that, there are coordinates on there. So there is a difference between the grid from math class and the grid in Sweet Home 3D. Now let's go over what's familiar. First of all, first of all, we have an X plane or X coordinate, and we have a Y plane or a Y coordinate. So our X goes left to right or west to east, and our Y goes up or down or uh, north or south, depending on you know, you're looking at your compass rows here. Now, in math class, we were taught that we have to have an origin point or a zero, zero location, which we definitely do have here. So if we take a look in our X plane, we have a zero. In our Y plane, we have zero. And right there, smack dab in the middle, we have zero, zero or point zero, zero or our origin point. Now, in math class, we were taught that anything to the right of that origin point is a positive value. And as we can see, it definitely is a positive value here as well, because if we go to the left, of that zero so we have negative six right here now here's where the difference comes in in math class we were taught that anything above zero is positive and anything below is negative that's inversed here so anything below zero zero is actually a positive value all right so it's a little bit different so when you're looking at this thing okay i need to go a positive value in the y direction just know that that's going to be going down not up Okay, with that, let's learn how to actually locate lines and, and objects exactly where we want to put them on our 2D view in Sweet Home. So the first thing I'm gonna do, I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna delete this line. Let's get rid of that. Because what I could do is I could click on my create walls and I could try to get close, but you'll see it doesn't actually snap to that origin. So I can try to get close, but it's never gonna be precise. So let me show you how to create a precise line. So let's say that I want to make a line that starts at 0, 0 and goes to the right 18 feet. To start that, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to draw an arbitrary line of any length, just in, in nowhere, nowhere land, just kind of drop it right there. Now, the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to click on my black arrow and I'm going to double click on that line and it brings up the modify walls dialog box. Now, when I do that, you'll see that I have um, some some sections here and we have start point and end point. And for each one, we have an X coordinate and a Y coordinate. So that's saying, okay, where do you want the first point of your wall to start? Meaning this, this, this location right here. So what I'm going to do, since I want my wall to start right at zero, zero, I'm going to locate my X um, coordinate at zero. And I'm going to do the same for the Y coordinate. Put that at zero. And I'm going to hit OK and watch what happens. So now my starting point is at zero, zero, but my end point, we haven't defined that yet. So let's go ahead and define where the end point is going to be. So let me double click on that wall and let's go to my end point. So I know that I want my wall to be 18 feet in the horizontal plane or the X plane. So I'm going to go ahead and change this to 18 feet. And I don't want my wall to go down at all. I want my wall to stay right on that zero, um, or, or stay on that X plane and not drop down. So I'm gonna go ahead and change that Y coordinate to zero, and then hit okay. 
So now I have a wall that starts exactly at zero, zero and goes over to the right 18 feet. All right, now let's say that I want to create a vertical wall in the same manner. So I'm going to go back up to create walls. I'm going to create a vertical wall. Again, just never, never land over here. I'm going to go to the wall properties. So I'm going to double click on that wall. And now I want to specify my start point once again. Now in the X direction or left and right, I don't want it to start right here. I want it to start right here, which is at 18 feet. So I'm going to go ahead and call this 18 feet. And I want it to start right here, which is on um, my Y coordinate or my Y value for my, uh, or zero for my Y value, excuse me. So I'm gonna change that to zero. And now I want to make this go straight down, let's say 12 feet. So again, I wanna start right here. So therefore, I, if I wanna start here in the X direction, I need to make that 18 feet. And if I wanna go down in the Y direction, I need to specify that as 12 feet. I'm going to hit OK. And there's my wall connected exactly at um, 18 feet, and it goes down 12 feet. All right, let's do it one more time. Let's bring it from um, here over to the left. Now, I know that I can use my wall command, that I can click on it, and I can drag it over, but I want to have some more practice with that direct entry value method. So let's go ahead and do that again. So my start point, I'm going to go um, right to left this time. And we can see that when I highlight over, it's kind of hard to see, but you can also see like these little arrowheads um, inside um, to let us know which way our line is going. So it goes from this way over to this way. All right. So again, let's go over. Let's click on our wall. And this time I want to start right here and go to the left. So this location, first of all, I need my start point is going to be 18 feet because it's 18 feet in the X direction. 18 feet and my Y starting point is going to be here which is 12 feet and I want this to go over to the X location of zero right because this is my X plane right here and I want it to be right there at zero so it's going to end at zero in my Y direction I still want it to be down here so it's going to be 12 Let's see how we did that worked out pretty well. So now I'm just going to go ahead and I'm going to use the old tried and true method. I'm just going to click on my wall, click on my endpoint here, and go endpoint to endpoint, and we're going to finish up that wall. All right, so that's how to locate um, using that direct entry value method. Now that's for walls. Let me show you something like, uh, I don't know, like a, let's try a, a door. So I'm going to take a door, I'm just going to drag a door right here. That works. And I could do the same thing and locate my door the same way that I located my walls. So again, if I double click on my door, you'll see that I have a location, in this case, just the XY. I don't have a start and end direction. I just need to just specify this somewhere in space here. So I can specify this anywhere I'd like. Let's say that I want it to go um, in the X direction. Let's bring it over to six feet and hit okay. It shifts over. So we can do that with any, let's, let's try one more thing. Let's go to um, pick an armchair. Bring an armchair over here, and if I double click on that armchair, I can again specify the X and Y location of that armchair. All right, so just wanted to cover quickly with you how to use the direct entry value method for Sweet Home 3D. Now there is one last thing that I want to show you, and that's how to create an SVG file from your 2D format. Because we know uh, that we can render out um, our 3D images into some nice uh, some renderings, but sometimes we just want to take a floor plan from our 2D um, view and, and translate that into an image file. So it's very easy to create an SVG export. To do that, all you need to do is right click inside of your 3D view and come on down to export to SVG format. Click on that, and I'm just gonna put this right on my desktop. I'm just gonna call it Sweet Home. Hit save, and then I open that from my desktop. There we have our exported SVG of our 2D view. Now the cool thing about this, it actually gets rid of the grid in our 2D view, so it's not as convoluted as just doing like a snipping tool or a screenshot or something like that. All right, so that's how to use the direct entry value method with Sweet Home 3D.